Okay, ladies and gentlemen, come straight out here from Rock in the Valley here on 3400 Airport Road at the Jet Board. And it's the one and the only Nancy Jennings on After Hours. <laughs> After Hours, and I just remember I forgot to turn everybody on here. There we go. After Hours and Nancy Jennings. Welcome everybody to After Hours with Nancy Jennings. Tonight I have Cranked here. Uh, we're going to have them introduce themselves real quick, and then we're going to hear three songs from them before we do the interviews. So introduce yourself really quick. Let's start with the lead singer, because she's got an awesome voice. Thank you, Megan. My name is Cheyenne Marshall. Go ahead, Jake. Thank you. Jake. 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 Jake from State Farm. He <laughs> calls. Check. Microphone on. Dan Hogan. Dan. I'm Mike. That's Mike, and that's Dan. All right, so let's get started with the rocking. Three songs, and then I'll be back. All right, boys, here we go. <laughs>
get the name from? My lack of snicker bars? Go ahead, Dan. Tell him. Tell him. It's okay. No, it's okay. You go ahead. See, I interviewed Dan before when he was in the original band. And he didn't talk he at didn't all. He didn't talk much? Wow. wow. They, they and I thought for sure So that's how to shut him up. <laughs> wow. Yeah. They, well, him. they wouldn't let him talk. I think when we first started, I was kind of the quiet one. He's more of the dictator. But when I, when I lack food... <laughs> Well, this is pre pre band name. When I lack food, I seriously get like that William Defoe commercial in the in the Marilyn Monroe outfit, grumpy. where she needs a singer bar. So yeah, I get a little grumpy. So he, he was like, we just, just one a little. Just one little. syllable band name, the crank. So ah. so we keep plenty of food now at rehearsal. Mike hasn't experienced the the grumpy Cheyenne yet, but a little bit. 
Well, that's, how we, that's how we came okay. up with the name. So how long have you guys been together as a crank band? Over a year? Yeah, a little over a year. A year and what, two months, three months maybe? Yep. Cool. Yep. And where are you guys, you all from the Berks County area? Yeah. Yep, we're pra- all three of us are practically neighbors. Uh, I've been playing the ballet the last two years with the Smith Townhound Band, so I'm, oh, okay. um, I have a lot of friends up here. Beth's no plugs, no plugs. No plugs? So, no plugs. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of friends up here. They Mike, play Mike, here Mike, already. Mike, don't plug in the bands. Don't plug in the bands. First plug, first plug, crack. You've been here before. Mike's already graced here. He's so like, have you done cover bands? like throughout your career? Well, I know personally when I first started, I was actually trying to get a country deal out in Nashville. That was my early 20s. Oh, wow. So I played with a little Texas for a little bit on, on a couple de- demos. Jake, I really don't know what your what your claim to fame 15 minutes was. What's my claim to fame? Yeah, dude, what'd you do? Before you before you became a member of Crank. I don't know, I played in a bunch of local bands over the years, on and off. I retired right before Crank. You did a blues band though. Yeah, I did a blues band for a while. And you already know he's been in tons of the band. Well, I know. Just some touring. The original band. band. That's why we had him on the other show. Of course. Was that Dirty Mary or uh, Black Roof? Dirty Mary, Black Roof for a little while. I've been in all kinds of different bands. Did a little tour back in 2005. So I've been around. Now we have Craig. I met Dan first. He reached out to me actually through Facebook because I posted a, a YouTube video in my garage of singing "Hello," and he's like, "Do you want to sing some rock?" I'm like, "Sure." So that's here we are. He introduced me to the, the great guys that I work with now. Jake just showed the dark up my doorstep. Side. Jake Jake was lost, so he just showed up at my doorstep and said, "Have hey, a guitar. Yes. Do you need a guitar?" He's like the the random hitchhiker. I only play if you have beer. Yes. So, so how beer. often do you guys practice? Is it like a once a week thing or yeah, once, once a week? week? Sometimes we got a big show coming up. Uh, we usually get together like two nights a week. Because it's awesome. I know uh, you <laughs> post a lot of the rehearsals. I've seen that. Um, I never got to come out and see you until now, and it's it's awesome. Thank you, guys you very much. much. Really tight. You're just saying that because you know it's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike doesn't say much, but when he does, it's intelligent. Say that more. <laughs> You're just saying that because you know it's true. That's right. He's I always the quiet comical one. I tell it's all. He's usually really wrapped up in duct tape, but we're letting him go free tonight. Okay, so now I want you to go one at a time, and I want you to tell me about um, like how you got into music, whether it started in school, if uh, you had parents or family that was musicians. What got you started? Well, when I was in high school, uh, Mike Shermick, who was uh, the founder of Cinderella and great Brittany Fox, was two years ahead of me and kind of wiser. So, me and my friends were all like, wanted to be like Mike, you know, be a guitar player. And I started playing guitar with two of my friends. They were the better guitar players, so guess who, who was the bass player? <laughs> Me. <laughs> but it worked out. Wait, wait. That's not saying much for bass players. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're not really musicians. We're just, yeah, I was just going to say, we're, 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 we're the redheaded step, uh, child of two people. No. <laughs> He's just the gray. He's just gray enjoying your comedy. Wow. Yeah. No, he knows a bass player. <laughs> oh, I'll be here all week. <laughs> well, me, I actually started with Star Search was up and coming. Oh, really? actually, Star Search? Really? You never told us that. Well, I was tiny. I was super tiny, and it was actually the first the first uh, trials were at the Fairgrounds Square Mall. And I, I sang Annie's Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, I don't think I was quite ready for the whole stage thing. So How old were you? I had to be two and a half. Like, at least fourth grade. So I was super oh, tiny. Yeah. yeah. That was two years ago. That was two years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's still trying to graduate. But then I, I took I took a long break. Life happened, and it wasn't until I was 21, and I was back at a celebrating 21 year old birthday party with my sister, and we sang the Garth Brooks tune. And after that, which one? Just start taking off. Uh, wow. Shameless. Sing, sing you never had formal like voice. No, I, you know what? Basically, I did was just record myself. Really? So if there was a song I wanted to learn, I would just parrot. So I would just keep going, keep going. Until I remember I was in an apartment. The the neighbors below they started hitting the roof with their broom. Like shut up! But yeah, that's how wow. I taught myself. That that's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, because your voice is great. Thank you very much. That means a lot. All right, you're too, buddy. Uh, 
I used to watch the monkeys when I was a kid. Hey, oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. We all did. That yeah. led to the Beatles and, and then Kiss, monkey. and then here we are. Wow. And I thought that was like a good so way to So, did you have tricks, guitar but... lessons or are you self taught? I'm self taught. You know what? I had an uncle who played. I didn't know either. He showed me like Chuck Berry and said, just listen to Kiss records and get the rest of So, what kind of guitar are you playing? Better Stratocaster. Okay. What year? What year? Huh? What year? What year? Get the guitar player. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jake, Jake is half deaf, so I apologize. Oh, okay. Three quarters. So I'm not loud enough. <laughs> we never are at practice. We're constantly like, what? We'll have full conversations with him and he'll look at us and say, what? Oh, wonderful. It's, boy, does that sound familiar. That's why on our website, we actually are on fire. And it's all because of drummers. Like, they they're just play too loud. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, that's true. <laughs> Yeah. It was my, nice meeting you, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> we joke right. on our, we'll click on our, our print oh, no. page. We actually have on our biography that I have him whispering sweet nothings behind his back because he can't overhear him anyway. So <laughs> we flirt with him. He has no idea. All right, Dan. Go ahead. I, 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 I want to know your, have, your history. Dan, Dan has a habit of missed text, and I have gotten lose midnight text from Dan. Oh, I remember other people. <laughs> oh, was that you? I'm sorry. <laughs> But you know I love you. I started when I was nine years old. My uh, actually, my stepfather was a very, very awesome guitar player, piano player, organ, you name it. And uh, he bought a tambourine, put it on a stand with a little crappy Zildjian cymbal. I do like Zildjian. Um, I just started playing along with him, self-taught. Wow. And over the years, just listened to everything and anything. Saw Buddy Rich. That was my first concert. And, this went now, from there. You, know, you guys say you're self-taught. How many hours did you, did you spend teaching yourselves to get this good? Because I had lessons and I was I, I, read, a book, I read a book by a guy, I forget who it was by, but he said anybody that gets good at anything puts 10,000 hours in it. I'd say that's about right. Wow. 10,001. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to go back to the music, so uh, you'll play four songs and then I'll be back and we can do um, like promos and more awesome. songs. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. All right. Cranked. Crank it up. All right. Well, we hope you like some Michael Jackson because we do. We're going to shake our body down. <laughs>
Thank you.
Give a hand for Jake. 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 Yeah, that is Jake from State Farm. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, one more, right? I only counted three. <laughs> that counts as two, though, right? That was pretty long. Still him. He's a sneaker this one. Plays trombone, learn a guitar. <laughs> Play cello too. Really? That's he had drums for a while, and he got, I guess he got bored. My daughter he got bored also. with drums. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he wanted to be a real musician. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> they pick on each other. What? <laughs> I have a 21, in, or she's turning 21 in April, so she'll be able to legally come out and wash her mom, oh, do yeah. what she's been doing since so she's been super tiny. So, but she's not into playing any. She started off with the drums. She actually was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she was studying with Mike Humbert. Shout out to Mike. Uh, he plays with Steel Heart, the old uh, heavy metal band. You know Mike, so killer. He's also known as He plays with Uptown Band. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uptown Band. So. I know the bass part in the Uptown Band. Really. But just like all kids, she wanted to go from zero to sixty. Where's the uh, She got kind of bored with the paradiddles, so yeah. yeah. Sorry. Do you know paradiddles? Yeah, baby. Oh boy. I think we're the only two that have kids. I, I just don't know how to yeah. spell it. And I have no trouble being responsible for myself. He's a dog. <laughs> He's a dog guy too, so. Any other family support that supports you guys when you're playing? Oh yeah. We have Chris Kolonoski over here. It's our one year anniversary. Da, da, da. <laughs> He's our hard working He's our hard working Ruby. Ruby. Photographer. Sound guy. Security. 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 Yeah. Right. So yeah, he's good. He, we, we're good. lucky to have good family, good good support. So we have a lot of a lot of great fans out there too yes. that support us. Yes. Big time. We really uh, appreciate everyone that supports us, and we're hoping to get out this area too. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna try. Rock out some of these clubs. I keep telling them I'm gonna try. Um, cool, cool. But now that you're you know on the camera, it's definitely gonna help you. Yes. But um, let them know where you are playing out, Dan. Uh, we're doing a lot. We do a lot of charities and stuff. Um, play some big clubs, some small clubs. Actually, uh, this Friday we're at the Temple Fire Company uh, up at Temple. Um, February 25th, we're doing a big thing called Winterfest 2017. It's actually six female incredible bands. We're part of that. Um, we're doing a big charity event for uh, Burst County Autism. Um, tickets are $15 to get in. You said six female front bands. It's going to be a, an incredible uh, night, especially you know trying to raise money to help out autism. Right. Um, you can go to Burks Palooza um, on Facebook, and you get information about getting tickets. Then uh, March fourth, we have a really big show coming up. A place called Blackjacks American Pub and Grill. That's up in Birdsboro on Route 422. Awesome concert venue. So we're really excited to be there. And then. Um, we have a bunch of other dates that we're doing. Um, that we're well, how can they get in touch with your band so they you can, can uh, check us out dates. on Facebook, uh, Crank, of course. Also, you go on uh, www.crankusa.com. Um, has all our show dates, videos, pictures, information about booking us. Uh, like I said, we're looking to branch out in all different areas, so you can come out, and check us out, and hope to see you at the show, and hope to be out in this area as well soon. Yeah, well, we could try to get you here. Just gonna find oh, yeah. Steve Lombardo. <laughs> Well, we appreciate being here. That's a, yes, a good time. first we step to get out this area. So. Having us here, and like I said, all our fans. Uh, yeah, I mean, we well, have... thanks for coming out. I mean, you Absolutely. guys had a bit of a drive, and I appreciate you coming out because you're really awesome. I'm Thank looking all. <laughs> oh, wow. That's really sweet. Aww. Aww. Group yeah. hug. Thank you. Wow. No, not you. <laughs> she made my heart melt a little bit. <laughs> oh, boy. No, I do really appreciate it. It's, you know, when you're... Your local yeah. band. It's it's tough to get into different areas, and we, we we're trying really hard. We've we've actually changed a whole bunch of our songs this year, so we're we're getting away from a little bit more of the rock stuff that we did into straight on dance. Our goal is to make our our you want everybody fans, to get up and dance. Everybody just dance. That's our goal. We want everybody to have a good time, and I think we we're doing that. So so in your year of you know doing gigs and stuff, have you do you have any memorable gig? Or something happened, yes. or good, bad, weird. I don't think we can tell, share that though. That's a little explicit, on Jake's. You can't decide. Well, this is after hours. Yeah, after night. Like Nancy Jennings. Oh, we have, we have a lot of fun. Like I said, our fans are awesome. Uh, a lot of people support us. We have a blast. People get up and dance with us. We've had local musicians come up and play with us on stage, um, which it's awesome to you know have their support. We support them as well. Sometimes it's a little hard to get out there and see those bands because we play so much in our lives and all that stuff. But. Uh, Every gig. Is he avoiding the issue of yes. what happened? We have seen naked people. <laughs> yeah. I will tell you. Okay, yeah. I will be honest with you. We saw naked people at yeah. one of our shows. Yeah, we really? We did. There there was, was, it was a contest. Well, was it an actualist contest? colony or was it just they decided It was a contest. It was a contest. It was a contest. It was a contest. You got to wash it on over the wash. But it was, 
It was just something to see. It's stuff like you'd see at Spencer's. What was the contest? Well, well, what were they competing for? Just the hottest, the hottest yeah, person and they got a trophy. Like the crowd? Really? Look for the, what did you judge them on? It was, a, it was a big thing. It was a, a big event that, that, that I've... No wait, it was a big was event? Big. It was a big event that I, I played over the years. Um, You've been all Don't want to say much about the, the group, but... Uh, Big band club that throws uh, this big party up at the Schuylkill County Fairgrounds, which it's private, um, and it's like three days of partying and with bands and. Yeah, well, we're I actually doing that show again this year. Yeah, so September September fifteenth. We'll like I said, it's, it's not open to the public though, so yeah. sorry so about that. If you want to see, you gotta get out to Sunny really well, <laughs> and we're open. If they anyone wants to book us for a naked show, I, yeah, I, we yeah. don't so judge. Yeah, yeah. Is that unplugged? <laughs> It would be only a, I'm I'm about, and a little bit more. But I would need about a month of electrolysis before it did that. We would not be naked. No. Oh, now if they're if naked, they wanted to be naked. No, 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 Mike, Mike, you would, you would if you did the male part of the competition. If you would have competed with the females, you'd be fine. No, you wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> oh, they're so bad. Yeah, they're, they are bad. They are bad. bad. Do you remember Lurch? But that was the most memorable remember show. Lurch? Yeah. Uh, I was used to it, but I played like eight, eight years in a row. I was going to say, shut up, to jam. All right, <laughs> <laughs> where did I miss? Okay, so let's see. We have time for two more songs. All right, let's do two more songs, and then we're going to come back to say goodnight and do a little bit more promo. Purple Rain actually might, we have a very long version of this, so this might cut into our time. You'll have to let us know. We always do this one. This is our trademark song. We do a little cover of Prince. We hope you enjoy it, everybody.
Yeah, wow. That was awesome. Well, the first thing that comes to my head is fuck, but uh, you can't say wow. Can you all say fuck on the show? Yeah, you can say fuck on my show. Oh, fuck. Sorry, fuck. <laughs> it is after hours, right? Fuck. All right. <laughs> we can do like three stooges of fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Really? <laughs> Jeez. I just, you know, when you were saying about, um, being... That's the fuck you. Promoting and, and help supporting other bands. I, wow, okay, you um, just farted. Dave Dahl and Jeremy Aguirre were here. Uh, they just left, but they're from The Beautiful Distortion. They're a band, another band, their original band. They're awesome, too. Um, and I'm getting them on the show. They were here, and then, of course, Dave Trimmer over here is a uh, lead guitar player for Hi, Triage. <laughs> So the band, other band members do come out and that's awesome. And walk